What's up, Deckheads? Welcome back to MTG with me. It's the Games Walker. Today we're going to be doing a fun one. Premier Draft Throne of Eldraine. This is the old Eldraine set. I know we've got Wilds of Eldraine coming up, but I saw that when I opened up MTGA today. I think that would be a fun one to do. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Fairly new channel. Free to play player. Those that have been watching you already know, but it does help a lot. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get to it. Uh, we'll do coin. Figure that out. Hoping that there's a lot of players on. I, I if I recall, a lot of people liked this set. Nice. <laughs> this is the one with the adventure cards. A um, lot of lot of cool play playable cards from that set because you play the adventure side and then it just goes into an exile zone, and you can play it again so like you could just fill your deck with creatures that are also instant and sorceries and drafts are pretty fun with that so <laughs> it's been a while um i know this set is knights heavy um uh, there's some cool gingerbread cards <laughs> uh claim the firstborn is an amazing one so getting control of target creature cmc3 ls haste uh untap that whole fun stuff Inspiring Veteran, 2-drop, Boros, other knights get 2-2. Two, two. Uh, tap up the two creatures, this is a 2-3, three, 3-drop three flyer, that's pretty cool. Maybe do like a Boros thing. This is very powerful to get damage in, especially early game. 4-drop, put a plus and plus 1 each, okay. Okay, oh, Adamant was another one. So if you use 3 mana of the same symbol, so monocolor decks are strong here too. And there's a, there's a really big blue uh, bounce deck. Actually, let's do, let's do Boros. Um, there's a really good bounce mechanic as well. Um, make sure we get our creatures first. Nice. All right, so knights, other knights. All right, sweet. So one drop. Oh, they passed this guy? First strike, haste. Whenever it attacks another target attacking knight you control gets plus one plus zero. Equip abilities. You activate the target. This costs three less. Okay, so we do Boros equipment then. Is what I'm thinking. Let's see. What else do we have in here? Crystal Slipper. Um, <laughs> I mean, if we don't see any other equipment that comes back around, we might grab the Slipper. I don't know. Beloved princess can't be blocked by creatures with power 3 or greater. That could be useful with equipment. It's got lifelink. It's a 1-1 one, one for 1. Alright. Looking for knights. Got a knight right here. And it's in Boros. 3 drop, 3-2. Three, it's not even vanilla. But, ooh. Hold the phone. Shining armor. It's got flash. ETB. Attached target knight. Plus 0, plus 2. Vigilance. Alright, so that's what we're going to grab. For sure. Alright, any knights? No knights that I can see that are in our range. 4 drop 3 2 menace. And there's with another plus 1 plus 1 if you use 3 of the same mana there. Scorching Dragonfire 3 drop 2 damage. Or 2 drop 3 damage. Not to player, just creature or planeswalker. Exile instead, that is, that could be a really good 6 drop there. Or, not 6 drop, one of our 6 non-creatures. Fairy Guide Mother, 1 drop on 1 flyer. Uh, it's adventure is, target creature gets plus 2, plus 1 flying until end of turn. That's really good. But I like the removal, because this is a very creature heavy set, so we need to be able to remove some things. Alright, we'll do that. Castle Garenbrig. Adds four tap, add six. Only for creatures. Okay, so that's definitely a ramp land. Uh, Dwarf Knight here, Adventure. It can't block, and it's a 3 1. Okay. Uh, Deafening Silence. Okay. And then we have a Goblin Knight, which is pumpable. That, that might be better. 
Because we got a one drop one one that's pumpable by turn two, or uh, a one drop that you need something on the board state. So that's not a turn one play. That's a turn two. Uh, and if you play a two drop three one on turn three, all right. So we'll we'll do weasel red cap gingerbread. <laughs> this is a one one haste. Uh, can't be blocked this turn except by creatures with haste. Sacrifice, you gain three life. Now that could be useful if we do get equipment. If we get a good amount of equipment here, then that's gonna that's gonna help us. Dwarven mine, ETB tapped, okay. Enter battlefield, create a one one red dwarf. Alright, so it's not a knight. That doesn't help us. Up to three target creatures can't block this turn. Destroy any of them that are walls. Okay. Now, I'm big fan on double strike trample and making things can't block. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Blow your house down. <laughs> Each attacking non-human gains trample. Um, we pretty much are all humans here, I think. Oh, so the knights don't count as humans. That's right. It has to be a human knight for that. Okay, cool. So then maybe we do grab barge in. Give something plus two plus two, and other things trample. For now, I'm gonna click the knight. We need more creatures. It's not an amazing instant or sorcery. More shining armor. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Um, there's a six drop five five. We used that in the other deck. The last draft I did, and I mean. 655, five, it's not vanilla, but scry too. Makes it a little better. <clears throat> Let's take a look at our curve. 2.0, we got 4 and 4. <laughs> Alright, so I basically have room for two more non creature spells, and then I want to get just as many creatures as I can. Wow, it came back all the way around. Claim the firstborn, that's, I mean, CMC 3 or less, that's everything I have here. Uh, weapon rack, ETB, 3 plus 1 plus 1, move a plus 1 from this uh, to another creature, only as a sorcery. That, that has some value. But not as much as Firstborn. That one was used in Standard. That was a very, very popular card. And this is a very early um, double, like, two specific mana for a turn two. So we're pretty hard Boros here. Alright, so we either do Crystal Slipper. Or 1-1 one, one Lifelink. And I think the 1-1 one, one life link's better. Slipper. There's value there. But the 1-1 one, one life link that can't be blocked. Remember, can't be blocked is powerful. By creatures with power uh, 3. Or greater. So all I need to do is find a way to buff that up. So that I'm, you know, gaining life every turn. So we need to find a better equipment or things that'll uh, do like plus 2, plus 2, or something like that. Ooh, gargoyle here. Plus two. It's a one drop that you can give flying. Now I know it's four. Four mana for that, but still. Oh, blow your house down again? What? Alright, so we got one more spot for a non creature spell. It says non creature spell. I think that's the artifact here. We've got two, four, five. Oh, six. Claim the first one. Alright, so we have all of our non-creature spells unless we find something that's better, but we should focus on getting the uh, creatures that we need. Oh, human noble, it's not a knight. Whenever a white creature control attacks, gain a life. We'll put it as a maybe for now. That is a very specific CMC. That's going to be very tough to get by turn 3. 3-3 three, three vigilance for 3. Haste, if three mana was spent to cast this, 
enters with another plus one plus one. Okay, so you that could be a five two. And it's a knight. Two five. Alright, so for four, would you rather have a three six or a five two with haste? Five two with haste. Target creature gets plus two, plus two, untap it. That's a pretty good one. This is why I really like those spells. Because I'm getting a bunch of non-creature spells and creature spells at the same time. Beloved Princess, cool. Um, actually, let's switch it up. Get some flyers in there. Definitely want flying. Alright, this enters Battlefield Tab. Let's control three or more planes. Uh, ETB, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Wow. All right. That might be better. We've got plenty of one drops. Ooh. Ah. This is the fun part about drafting. Because, like, I don't know. It might not make it all the way back around. Um, I think I'm going to grab the land. Just because it helps with the board state. Not just one time like that. Tap up the two creatures. It's a two three flyer after that. Oh, Embereth Pal Paladin. If if we're playing turn four uh, with three red mana, that's a five two coming across. Sometimes people won't have what they need by then, and that could be useful. Uh, we do have another knight here, so let's ch take a look at that. It's a first strike four four for five. That's really good. Whenever this attacks other creatures you control, get plus one plus one. Okay, well, let's hope that that Embereth Paladin comes back around. We already have one. So let's get some variety, a little bit of the late game stuff going on here. We hardly have any late game. We're pretty much all early game, so we got to be careful about that. Uh, Resolute Rider, life link until end of turn. Gains indestructible. I like both of those. Another Embereth Paladin? Ooh. All right, got to think about that. Because <laughs> if we get this Paladin... And then it comes back around from that last pack, and we get that one. We could just be sending across a bunch of 5-2 haste. You know what I mean. 4-2 um, knight. And you can pump it to give it lifelink. That's pretty strong. Not gonna lie. We already have Emberth Paladin. Maybe those will both come around. But I think the Resolute Rider is probably better. First Strike 2-1. Red Cap Raiders. Um, tap an untapped human. If you do, it's plus one, plus one trample. Eh. Uh, Firstborn is good. A lot of the CMC is lower. But we don't have our creature count yet. And we're about mid-pack too. So we're going to have to pick creatures here. Another one. Sure. Escape to the Wilds. Five cards. The library play exile cards. An additional land, Meh. Oh man. Yeah, I think we just keep going with the knights, Boros knights. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Youthful knights. That's three in a row. Shining armor, maybe. Um. Just give everything vigilance. <laughs> Make all of our knights shining. Nothing more than a knight shining. Adamant, if at least three white, enters with a plus one, plus one. Okay, we saw that one last time. I'm gonna go for it. All right, one on lifelink. Tournament grounds. Spend some mana only to cast a knight or an equipment spell. It does help us with Boros a little bit, but I'm going to go with the 1-1. One, one. Hey, Embereth Paladin came around. That's so good. That's so good.
Crystal Slipper. All right, well, you, you came back around so much. Might as well. <laughs> Nobody wants the slip. Our curve is a 2.4. That is a fast curve. 16 creatures, 8 non-creatures. We're right where we need to be. This is good. Now the firstborn. We need heavier creature base. We need really strong creatures. Gingerbread cabin. <laughs> oh, oh, did we really just pull the royal scions? All right, so it looks like we're making this into American. And on the last pack. Okay, so draw a card, discard a card, plus two, plus zero against first strike, and trample until end of turn. Uh, draw four cards when you do roll a sign, steal damage uh, to any target equal to the number of cards in your hand. So we want draw. Definitely getting the Our royal signs. was forged in battle. <laughs> and many training sessions. Uh, scry one and draw, that's pretty cool. Flying pro white, that means our uh, enchantment won't work on it. Wait a minute though. Creatures can't attack you or planeswalkers you control unless their controller play pays one for each of those. That's useful. Flash flying. Oh, wait a minute. That's so good. Whenever you draw your second card each turn for the plus one. So now we need draw. Double strike knight. Oh. Alright, we need to look for blue draw though to make it worth it to do American here. That last pack. That last pack is throwing us right now. I'm not I'm trying to recall and and think about if there was any good draw cards that maybe we missed out on. I don't think there were. It was a lot of low-level, like, low-CMC creatures, but I don't remember any good draw cards that we may have missed, so, um, might be able to make this work. Last pack, pick three. Wow, again, Fairy Vandal, it's a, it's a two-drop, one-two, flash, flying. When you draw your second card each turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on it, so, as, as long as we can find a way to draw, that's going to be some crazy fire. Kind of target spell with uh, mana value three or less. Okay. Um. And it's about to be able to draw a card. Okay. This one puts an instant or sorcery back in the library. Dragon fire. That's all good, but I think it, it's better to have the flying. Add an ETB draw card. Okay. We're doing knights and fairies. That's, that's a weird combo, but all right. Still a 2.4 curve. Ooh. You may have mirror made enter the battlefield as a copy of any artifact or enchantment. Okay. It's no wonder that came back around. Uh, thrill of possibility could be helpful. Op could be helpful. All right, we need draw. So we either, we either do opt or possibility. And I think possibility is better so that we keep our early game for us. And just a little bit of island in there. Because we're mainly planes. A little bit of mountain action. Um... Oh, we got uh, equipment here. Blue. Plus one, plus two. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, attach this to target creature. Oh, yeah. Fling? I love that card. Uh, sack creature deal damage equal to its power. It is cool. Um, probably not as good as Claim the Firstborn. Uh, 
Oh yeah, knight. I, I overlooked that one. So another resolute knight. Um, whenever you draw your second card each turn, gets plus one, plus one, and first strike. That's cool. Yeah, I think that's the one to go for. Uh, we have two of the house down, so we don't need that. I guess we go with this higher drop adamant card. Yeah. What else? Defender creatures control gain haste until end of turn. Could be useful. If three mana of the same color was spent to cast this, enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one, so it could be a three three for three. We probably won't use that, but I'll grab that anyway. Destroy target artifact, sure. This one puts an instant of sorcery back in our library. We don't need that. Okay. But we get it anyway. <laughs> this may be a strong deck. I say maybe because we had to add in that last color for the planeswalker a bit late. But I think we can make it work. Let's do what we always do. First thing is take out all of the non-creature spells. We're going to look at our creature list. We're going to thin that down to about 17. And then we're going to add stuff that complements that. Alright, so 26 creatures. We did well on that. Our specific CMC is really only happening late game. Um, Alright, so Royal Silence, draw a card, then discard a card. That's going to be very powerful with the cards that we have. That say draw a card whenever you draw a second card each turn do something because I, if I have her out or them out I could just do that so this one is maybe a 3-3 so that one's gone ETB draw card big fan of that this is uh, not vanilla it's a knight but it's a 3 drop 3-2 three, so both of those can go Gives uh, things haste, sure. Other knights get buff. It's an anthem creature. Uh, this is a knight. It's a 2-drop two 2-1 two um, where I can destroy an artifact and then play it. So there's some value there, but for now we'll leave it in. Uh, whenever you draw your second card, we'll keep that. Whenever you draw your second card, each turn put a plus one, plus one counter on this. That is definitely staying in the deck. Youthful Knight, it's a 2-1 first strike. Okay. So, I mean, hey, if if we get that out and then we get Inspiring Veteran out, now they're 3-2 now they're first strikes. That's pretty strong. You know what I mean? Double block, get something with a Toughness 6 out of the way. Uh, locked Wayne Gargoyle, 1 drop, 0-3. Okay, well, it could be a 2-3 flyer. But for now, let's get that out of there. Fervent Champion, definitely keeping. Uh, Beloved Princess. It's good and it's not good. It's not good because we got the other ability with uh, Will and Rowan. The Royal Scions. Because of that, that totally changes up. Because we can give first strike, we can give plus two, plus zero. It does help gaining a little bit of life. Not going to lie that about that that's that's good we'll come back to it it might be useful but those uh what was it the shining armor only helps toughness so maybe we get rid of the equipment stuff now and we just do control draw cards because if you do equipment you're basically just committing to that so Got to get rid of five. Oh, man. That's tough. Okay, let's go from the top. Sir Allen, the Lion's Claw. This is five drop, four, four. First strike. Other creatures get plus one, plus one. Definitely keep. Double strike, definitely keep. This could be lifelink. Uh, I could also pump it and give it indestructible. So that's that's pretty good to play around. Especially once you've got no cards in your hand and you just have your board state, having abilities is good. Uh, Adamant, okay, cool. 
two of those, four drop. Let's take a look at our curve. 2.6, it's so low. That is so low. Okay. Um, ETB draw card, it's a three drop, one, one. Hmm. only thing I have with draw these three maybe we get rid of that one three drop one one put in that put in that whenever you draw your second card okay that could be useful oh I just hate only playing three. Four, five. All right. Um, okay. Our one drops, we've got five. Our two drops, we've got ten. Our four drops, we've got seven. So I need to take away four drops and two drops for a solid curve. So Resolute Rider is good. That's hard to cast. It's even harder to cast now because of the specific CMC. Fireborn Knight, not so tough because two out of the three colors are what we need for that. But for the Resolute Rider, we only can use planes. So I think we at least take one out of that. 2.7 curve. We need to get rid of one more. I think we get rid of this four drop. Maybe a two drop. Let's see. I kind of like destroy artifact in case somebody else is doing equipment. It is a knight. This one I'm a little iffy on. But I kind of want to keep it if we are using plane or islands. If the paladin enters with three planes casting it, then it is a 3-6. That's pretty strong. But it's not as valuable as sending in the four drop Embereth Paladin. That's a 5-2 with haste. So let's get rid of one. And I think that means we could add three more non... Yep. All right, so we've got our 17 lands. We've got our 17 creatures. We've got three non-creatures. Let's get three more uh, non-creature spells in there that we think would best complement the deck. Immediately, what I'm thinking, two blow down the house, one scorching dragon fire. Little bit of removal here. Use it as a combat trick. That's all awesome. And then uh, blow your house down. You can really control the board state by saying, all right, I'm going to swing out, but you can't block with that, that, or that. You know what I mean? Up to three target creatures can't block this turn. Destroy any that are walls. Yeah. They're, those two are both in. So for the last one, do I use claim the firstborn? Or do I use Dragonfire? There's plenty of cards that are 3 CMC or less. We saw that in the packs that came by. But I think Scorching Dragonfire is probably better. Okay. Now. 2.6. Okay. I like how under Planeswalker it says Rowan and Will, one, one of each, but it's only one Planeswalker. <laughs> um, that is absolutely the deck box. Okay. 2.6 curve, I love it. 17 creatures, 17 lands. We've got 
it says 52% mountain, 35% plains, and 22% island. Uh, mana symbols. We do have the Boros by turn 2. The is it by turn 3. So, the only thing that I'm iffy on, because we don't have specific mana, is... Alright, so, it's a 40 card deck. I have a 10% chance to get an island. And I have a 10% chance uh, seven times in a row to get any of those in my opening hand. At least one of. So... <sighs> I kind of like making five of each. But you don't want to get in that situation where you have two islands. In your opening hand so maybe we keep it four but that's so risky because what happens if we don't you know like what don't we draw signs and we can't play it that stinks um we don't need planes until turn two and then not again until turn four so i kind of want to say i, I kind of want to do this instead of seven mountain i want to do five five six but the mountains are ah. so what the computer said maybe i'm overthinking it All right four ten percent chance i guess that's fine i'm only increasing the percentage a little bit by adding one I think that's pretty good though that is the build we got an american knight deck which is pretty cool last pack really switched up for us don't forget to like and subscribe and as always until next time watch these games get those gains and walk those planes keep it easy